Hey, collecting. It's your girl, Spiritual Sedge. We're going to start with these green cards today and see what messages come through. Y'all know these videos are for entertainment purposes only, child. So let's see. What's going on for my collecting today? Please and thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have for my collecting? Somebody's getting help from some type of entertainer or someone who's in the public eye. Getting this person speaking on you on your behalf or something like that, and that that could just be like if you're someone who's on Facebook or something like that, that could just mean someone shared a video or shared a post that you made. But for somebody, I feel like they're actually speaking on you. So let's see what's going on for collecting. Some of y'all may even get discovered that way. All right, we have. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are and celebrate. Yes. Yes. Come through. Some of you guys, it says you've accomplished so much. You will accomplish much more. You can take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. And there may be an unforeseen increase in your income. So some, whoever this is I'm picking up on, you're getting ready to celebrate, boo-boo. With this card, the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. There's something here about, um, I don't get that it's the people that you are currently around. You could be doing a lot of research. You could be studying. What he say? I studied the great, I studied the greatest, so I'm the greatest right now. Who was that? J. Cole. Some of y'all could be researching something, studying something. Okay, well, let's keep going. Get ready to celebrate something, boo-boo. Alright. I want this card. I feel it. I want to explore. Alright, so some of you guys may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness, your curiosity. Oh, look at this, y'all. Angelic help. So this is a time for you to trust in the universe. Maybe you were working on something. Some of y'all could have been in the in the point of giving up. But I'm just truly getting, if you knew who was speaking on you, you would be like, what? Me, little old me? Some of you may even have like a, um, I'm also getting if you knew who was in your city. If you knew who was in your city, what is this? You could partner up with this person. Some of you may go on a luncheon with this person. This this reading is very specific. But let's keep going. <coughs> All and with this angelic help, this card says there's a career or a blessing lining up for you. You know how the most high God works. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is, this person is in the public eye. So I feel like, mysteriously, the Most High is going to put you on this person's radar. You may even have some type of connection with this person. They could feel really drawn to you. Okay, what we got? You have the Page of Cups here. Somebody could be dealing with it. Somebody could be a Pisces with a little fish coming out this cup. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Now, the way his feet look like, they, they look like two left feet. So, that's giving me the energy of there could be something um, unique about you or this person. Because them feet look like they two left feet. There's something unique either about you or this person. Look at that. Ooh, spirit. Come through. Come through, spirit. Somebody's grandma could be looking out for them, or this could be like an ancestor or something. You see this old lady? Now, look at this. Nobody see this woman except for the child and, and these dogs. You see how this child is looking around? These two people, they too busy, and, you know, caught up in their own little world. But this child see this woman, and these dogs see this woman. And this woman is looking in on a situation. This could, this could have something to do with someone's house. 
you know what it's giving me? This woman could have passed. Somebody could be living in a home that they had that they don't want in that home. Let me tell you what it reminds me of. And this really happened. My uncle, um, my grandmother's sister, when she passed, everybody knew. Everybody in the family. I don't think she really had a will, but everybody in the family knew that she wanted that house to go to my uncle. And when other people would try to live in it, she would haunt the house. I'm telling you, this really happened. To the point to where they just couldn't stay in there no more. And finally, when my uncle got in it, one time he moved in there, and if I'm not mistaken, they came in and threw his stuff out. She was mad. This woman, the spirit was mad. And that's what it's giving me right here. This woman is looking in on some people that's doing something with this property or this money. This could be a wheel with the Ten of Pentacles. But I see a property back there. Maybe it's a house the child grew up in or something like that. But she looking in on people who live in there. This could be someone's uncle or aunt that's living in this house. This could be older siblings. This could be someone on the daddy's side of the family. But I'm telling you now, the spirit is looking in on this situation and they're going to make it right. That's that angelic help right here or something. I don't know. Somebody about to be celebrating. It could even be some type of unexpected Maybe somebody has to look further into something. Where's them up? Uh, let's look at these. What is this? What's going on? Hold on, y'all. Ask for guidance. Ask for guidance. So that could just be, that could really mean you talking to whoever you deem is your highest source. Or you could actually have to go and ask for some type of guidance. That's either for you or the, or the energy that's trying to come towards you. Something's working out for you right here. Okay, what else? And also with this, some of you could have people around you that know about this situation and ain't saying nothing. All right, so let's see. Adjudication. Maybe somebody had to come in and mediate, figure it out. I don't know. That paper could be a wheel. I have no idea. Distant horizon. I feel like there's something here with a property. This even look like a barn, child. This could have something to do with... And I was talking about forms. Well, actually, when I went to the museum... Uh, I got stuck on these This they had little exhibits and I got stuck on the farm and it was another one they had got stuck on but that's what this look like this look like a silo they look like a, a barn it's a lot of acres out there <laughs> maybe someone is discovering that something belongs to somebody you could be a main female or there could be a main female involved in this situation spirit come through I, and look, house. I'm trying to tell you, man. And you know what? I was just finna say, but here it go right here. How on what I was about to say with that gate right there. Something is protected and something will be held in high honor. Okay, so I don't know what this is, but I feel like something could be coming to you rightfully. Now let's go back up here to this energy of you don't know who in your city. Whoever this is that's in your city, they got a lot of Maybe they got like a little entourage or something. This could be the person that's in the public eye. They could have a lot of protection around them or something like that. Child, official person. So I feel like this is the person that's in the, the public. Okay? And uh, see this message right here? Maybe something was wrote to you, left to you or something like that, and you didn't get it because, see, something was blocked. Poverty. Wealthy man. Maybe you're about to become a wealthy man out of this. <coughs> Whoever this is that I'm, I'm talking to. I just feel like something will be held in high honor. Is there anything else? Yeah. Concern came on top of this great fortune. So, maybe somebody was called to, to look into something. Why is this person concerned? They, yeah, 
New discovery. Something got discovered. Something or someone. Page of Pentacles. Learning something new. Or somebody had to look into something. King of Swords. And the King of Swords in the upright, this is someone who's, they're going to get the truth. So they discovered something. Maybe they was called to look into it. Discovered something or someone. And now this person could have decisions with the two of wands. But I feel like they're planning to move forward. This two of wands is this page of cups right here. You see that pinnacle that's in somebody's hand? Somebody's getting ready to come to whoever this is that's resonating with this reading. Okay, there could be some type of collaboration with the three of pinnacles. Or this could have to do with family or work, co-workers. So take it how it resonates, y'all. I feel like this is, this is going to be a good unexpected energy okay you have the four swords here somehow you know with the three you know the three of swords and the 11 11 on the phone the three of swords talks about heartache and pain so the, i'm getting like a bittersweet energy because you got the ace of swords at the bottom which is truth and clarity but then you got the three of swords up here, which could have been some type of heartache and pain. So this is bittersweet energy that's coming through for somebody. Today. All right, so you got the four of cups. What else for you? The seven of swords. The four of wands. This, the four of wands is stability or someone's house with this six of cups here something could have happened in the past so the four of wands is a marriage or it can mean stability it could be someone's home because you got a home back here you got a home and this is like a home that people grew up in because this is like a grandmama and a child and then you got the family home back there what's that that the hermit somebody could be dealing with a virgo but this the same energy that's in this hermit is what I'm picking up with this older lady right here. Somebody's looking looking over something. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius with that star. Somebody's looking over something and keeping something protected. You see how that star is in that cake, that um, lantern? What's behind that? The world. So th there's about to be an ending of a major cycle and somebody getting ready to celebrate right here. You got the Ace of Cups trying to come through. And I didn't want to talk about that. Here's the death card. You know what would be fucked up? What kind of what I'm getting off this four of swords? Cause that look like the stained glass of a church. And you got this person that's laying down with their hands folded up like this. And somebody could have been laid to rest and, and somebody wasn't notified or something, y'all. This Okay, what else? What else is going on? Also, if somebody lost a job, because I see the four of cups to the death card and I just saw the eight of pentacles. If someone lost a job, somebody's looking into something. And there, this is the person that's in your, your town, your city, your state, something like that. This is the energy that's in the public eye. All right. So now you got the six of swords to the temperance. The temperance is balance being restored. The six of swords is moving away from chaos and conflict towards calmer waters. This situation will be worked out. So let me read y'all this right here. I was reading it last night. It says, success affirmations. I am blessed beyond measure. 
I am grateful for all that I have and will accomplish. What did that card say? You've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. I will never give up on my goals and my dreams. I will accomplish anything I focus on. I choose prosperity over failure. Today will be another successful day. And I am prepared to work even harder to be successful. Look, y'all. Y'all can take a screenshot of it. But I'm telling you, yeah, and the cherry. The cherry is all about moving forward, conquering something, and being successful. This could have to do with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or something. I told you, there's that three of swords, some type of heartache and pain. Something could have been going on for a long time. What is going to have to do? Because knights could be teen. Ooh, what was I reading about the knights earlier? He had did a... Um, I was watching this thing on YouTube where this man, Lionel Richie, he did a genealogy. And he traced it all the way back as far as he could and found out that his great-great-grandfather was part of the Knights of the Wise Men. He was the, the founder and the leader, I think it was. And um, it was some other stuff that I had found out. So somebody could, I'm telling you, this King of Swords, whether it's a man or a woman, they is getting some type of truth. They're looking into something. You see them right here discovering this page of pentacles is discovering something. And I feel like there's a unique situation here too with these two left feet. There's something unique about something. Okay, whatever. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. There could even be something symbolic about this ring that the King of Swords got on. Maybe it's a family ring or... If this is not family, it's like a group. Something like that. But I feel like these two people, if this, if we're talking about a how, this woman don't like these two folks in this house, man. And so something is working out. Now, this house could be anything. It could be actually be a home. Or this house could be an office building. All right, so let's take this Ace of Swords out. Yeah, something could have been hidden. This is also Pisces energy. Or someone could be like a high priestess or something like that. Someone could have the initials J, uh, B, J. Or something. I told you something was hidden. The moon. Tower. Something coming. Hey, man. You about to be celebrating. And I feel like there's going to be a tower in your life, too. But the towers is here. The tower is scary. Yes, it is. But it knocks down what's not built on a solid foundation and puts you on the correct path. This is also this spirit putting you on this person's uh, radar. Because something good comes out of this. The second card out here was celebrate. Somebody finds the truth, which I picked that up on this. I, I mean, it's kind of bittersweet, whatever this is, because something could have been going on for a very long time. You know what I was getting before I came in here? Like, they don't believe. So somebody could have told somebody something. They didn't believe, but maybe a couple of them people do, but most of them don't believe. So I don't know what this was. Maybe you went and told somebody something. Could have been a parent or a friend, somebody around you, right? The people you spend the most time with, you could have told them something. And maybe they thought it was your fault, or maybe they just didn't believe you. I don't know what this is. But with this truth and clarity, this is going to cut through any confusion. It's going to cut through any lies. Any, any, any deception that was going on, this King of Swords is cutting through it by discovering whatever this is. They're going to be handling something. The dead card with the tower in the world, that's the end of a major cycle. The Six of Swords with the temperance. That's walking or moving away from the chaos and conflict towards common waters. And with this high honor here, somebody being protected. Divinely guided and protected. Okay, and for others of you, this person that's in the public eye, they got a little entourage. Okay, you got to go through certain people to get to this person. You can't just call them up on the phone, whoever this is. But they could be in your area. So, yeah, the King of Swords about to figure it out. And then they're going to come towards you. Could be with an apology. Like, man, I'm sorry you had to go through this. Or I'm sorry you weren't notified about this. 
or I feel like these two different things. I feel like this top energy and this bottom, that's two different things. But maybe something could be the result of something else. You know what I'm saying? They get a message from the high self, then we're going to close it out. <laughs> message from the high self for the collective. Message from the high self for the collective. Please and thank you. You know, I'm also getting, for some of y'all, where this could have to do with money. This person is like, why does this person, you know, wear this, drive this, live this, if they got this? Because this is that Ten of Pentacles. Somebody looking like, hold up, wait a minute. That could be the concern. Hold up, did they even get it? Do they even know about it? What, what the hell going on? That's not fair, everybody. Okay? Message from the highest self. I see the sun coming over this death card. And we all know where there's an ending, there's a brand new beginning. These endings come to make room for the new. And what's change is inevitable. And it don't feel good a lot of times. It's tell change don't feel good, child. Okay, so this is the message from your higher self. I just said. Brand new beginning. First light, beginning a new cycle. And you see them four eggs that's right there? That's, that bird is symbolic to this ancestor, this angelic help. Those four eggs were something that was put up for you in this little nest. So if you're moving or you'll have what you need, them little four eggs. Somebody could put something up for you. Yeah, a breakthrough. That's the page of Pentacles. Breaking trail, breakthrough is at hand. All right, so that's what I got. Let's close this thing out, y'all. And let's get y'all some affirmations. We don't hardly use these affirmations. Here's get some affirmations for my beautiful collection, okay? Y'all love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Go for them. Affirmations for the collector. Please and thank you. Affirmations for the collector. What are some good affirmations? A calm inner peace fills my soul as something is surrendered. Nine is all about surrendering, releasing. So whatever they see is whether somebody releases something to you or maybe you're releasing something. Whatever this, whatever this is, when it happens, a calm inner peace is going to fill somebody's soul. Okay? Now, this six talks about balance. It says, I do what's needed to show up as my best self. Okay? Let's get one more for the collector. So ain't nothing wrong with having a little self-care days. You know, go get you a little massage, or go get your nails done, or go get you a little uh, a haircut or a facial, whatever. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with that. You got to take care of yourself, too. Because maybe I'm dealing with somebody who feels guilty when they want to go and, and get themselves something. Go ahead. Okay. And look at this. The universe is filled with many opportunities for my success. We just got through reading the success affirmations. Yeah. Maybe y'all can see it now. Okay. Baby. So the universe is filled. Filled with many opportunities for you to be successful. I'm a teen. I make mistakes that help me learn and grow. So if there was any mistakes here, it's just learn from them and keep on moving, child. That's all you can do. You can't beat yourself up about it. You know what I mean? All right, where is the angel dead? It's right here. So let's close this thing on out. This is bittersweet, child. This may even cause for some forgiveness. Whether it be forgiveness of yourself or someone else. Okay. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. What's going on? What's the angel message for the collector? Please and thank you. What's the angel message for the collector? Alright, so the first one out. 
is listen. Quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our general assurance that everything has been taken care of. And heart chakra. The answer you seek is in your heart right now. Be open. I told you, opportunity to forgive. The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, release negative patterns. Whether you, like I said, whether you're forgiving yourself or forgiving somebody else, it'll bring the opportunity to do that. Also, vacuum away the fear. Call on Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift the fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. Okay, someone could be a healer with this energy work. Your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to loved ones and clients. Okay, now, law of attraction and profoundly clairvoyant. Somebody could fear that, child. I don't know. Anything else, fear? Child. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All true, all children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. That's gonna go back to that call where I say, um, don't feel guilty about loving on yourself. Okay, and you got align your actions so they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you with this focus on service. Some of y'all could be in the service. Visualize success, fresh air, and heart chakra again. Love is at the heart of the matter. So, child, I don't know what this is. It really could have to do with family. Good. Take it how it resonates now. Somebody speaking on you. Speaking about you, speaking on you, something like that. I feel like this is a good thing. Everybody knows y'all. Y'all remember that show? Everybody knows your name. Dun, dun, dun. And you're all the way to Y'all, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Till next time.